them. What is up guys, welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is another episode of Sample Shopping and another episode of Sample Shopping sponsored by the lovely people at the Decan Shop, decanshop.com. Uh, Max 12 will save you 12% off your entire order over there. Great place to get niche scents, great place to get discontinued scents, great place to get really cheap designer scents. Uh, vintage scents and again it is cheaper and faster than anywhere online i have ordered from surrender to chance i have ordered from lucky scent i have ordered from perfume court decant shop just does them in that is the reality of the situation if you want the cheapest prices you're not going to beat decantshop.com i can't say it any more simple than that they also have a tremendous selection we're going to be getting into some of these uh, some of those selections right here. And again, now they have those e-gift cards. And guys, it is such a great gift. Again, especially for uh, brides, uh, um, bridesmaids and groomsmen to get one of those cards and to be able to just pick out some some scents that you normally wouldn't buy, you know, because they're, they're too expensive. And just, you know, sample some luxuries. Fragrance is a luxury, uh, thankfully, that it's very cheap. You know, you can own... Uh, Tom Ford product for a couple hundred dollars. You can own uh, a product by Prada for sixty dollars, and normally you don't, you can't have those sorts of things. The Air Message fragrance is two hundred and forty-five dollars. You're not getting anything else at Hermes for $245, maybe a keychain or something silly. So it's a beautiful luxury. It's a great luxurious gift. And I recommend you check out the e-gift cards on decantshop.com and check out their selection, which is growing, growing, and growing. So we're going to talk about four cents today that I got from Decant Shop. First up, guys, uh, let's see if I can focus in on this. Can you see that? Can I see that? Let me tap. Uh, uh, probably not. Okay, so the first one is Frederick Miles Dans Tebras, which was composed by Maurice Rousseau. He is another Frey community darling. Uh, the nose behind Musk Ravageur, New Harlem, Nautica Voyage, etc. Most of you know that Frederick Miles is one of my favorite houses, and this scent doesn't get a lot of shine, so I was really anxious to see why. Now, 100 ml of this is $250. 50 ml is going to set you back $170. So not obscene, but not cheap either. This is a unisex scent, and its notes are going to be heliotrope, jasmine, woodsy notes, patchouli, pine tree, cashmerean, sandalwood, musk, incense, and violet. So very interesting notes on this one. This is an extremely interesting fragrance. It's definitely not my favorite Roussel creation. I get a lot of violet and musk with this, which are two notes that I really like. I'm not sure if I like them together. This has been compared to the smell of root beer and birch bark, and I can kind of see that. It's an earthy, sweet, and rooty sort of a scent. Very hard to describe. Don's Tay Brass translates to in your arms, and this is sort of a very comforting uh, scent. It's supposed to smell like warm skin. I can see this, you know what I kind of get out of this, guys? Warm skin out of the shower with baby powder applied. I think Boise d'Argent would be something that I could compare the scent to a little bit. And I didn't love that one. Uh, if this wasn't a Roussel, I don't think I'd be coming back to it. But I trust Frederick Ma as an editor and Roussel as a perfume. So I will come back and keep sampling uh, Boise d'Argent. I mean, uh, Dans Tay Bras. Next up, uh, we've never looked at an Armani set. On this show and that's because with the exception of code there's not too much that I really like from this house um, and aqua de geo actually uh, but I am intrigued by these private line scents which come in these absolutely stunning bottles with the stone caps also a hefty price tag 250 for 100 ml and again but a stunning bottle so I have to own one of these at some point uh, this one is called a boise de incense and supposedly there's only three notes in this fragrance incense vetiver and woods and with this, Giorgio Armani said that he wanted to rediscover the damp coolness of the stone Italian church, uh, churches uh, in Italy still filled with the curling smoke of incense. And uh, at $250, this let me down. I don't get it. I don't even think it's a great incense scent. I much prefer the Comme de Garçon incense scents and even Diptyque's Galliano, both of, which, both of which are considerably cheaper. Uh, you know, normally incense scents are complex, and this is uh, and this is complex because 
you know, incense is in here. Whenever incense is there, you're going to you're going to get a complex scent, but it, you know, it I don't know. It's just not for me. There's something that holds me off. Might it float your boat? Absolutely. It's well respected online. If you like incense scents, check it out, but it's a huge pass for me. I will say on skin, it does better than it does on paper. It does have that sort of damp, wet stone church vibe, um, but it's not something I would want to smell like. This one might do better, I think, as a, as a room spray. Um, next up, we're going to look at two Montal scents, and Montal has very quickly become a top 10 niche house for me. I dig the mysterious vibe. Their scents are all for the most part powerful and project and last very long. I think the aluminum bottles that the scents come in do a good job of keeping the light out. Um, and I think these scents both go for 110 for 50 ml or 160 for 100 ml. And you can also find them discounted on sites like Beauty Encounter and Fragrance Net for a little bit cheaper. So definitely look. First one is Leather Oud. And the notes on leather, oud, are bergamot, Indian pepper, cardamom, saffron, amber, oud, and leather. Now, those of you might not remember, one of my earliest episodes of Shampoo Shopping, uh, I got some samples from a guy named Randy, a user named Archer Fire, who has his store exclusively on the Badger and Blade website. And one of the scents that I got from him was uh, a little decant of leather oud by Dior's Privé Lot. Uh, I was really excited to try that because Mark, Robes 08, really liked that and featured in his show about the bottles that he got when he was NYC. But to me, there was something that turned me off mega. I'm not sure if it was the oud sourced or the leather because Angel's Men Pure Leather, the uh, Amen Pure Leather, sort of has that pissy vibe at the beginning. I don't like that much either. Uh, so, you know, leather oud has me scared, uh, but but the Montel one I really enjoy. I like this. I think that if anything, I was let down by this scent because I didn't find, I don't find it as powerful as other Montel scents. I really like the way it smells though. I get almost no oud though. To me, this is like a leather scent. It sort of smells like Tuscan leather light to me. Uh, so if that's a scent you really like, maybe check this out because it's a little bit more affordable. Um, of course, I would recommend you just get a, a decant of uh, Tuscan Leather from Decant Shop, but definitely check this one out. To, to my nose, it has a, a nice leather scent uh, without the projection power that other Montel scents has, but I'll tell you what I have noticed about this. It smells very good, and it just seems to last and last. And it's something, again, if you like leather, check this one out. I really like this. I'm not sure if it's bottle-worthy yet. Um, I'm still deciding... But uh, I, I did put this in my maybe list of a bottle to buy. I probably will wind up picking this up. If I can get it on a fragrance net, a little bit discounted, I will buy this. Uh, I really do like this. Uh, I think this is a winner. Next up, we've got one who, that is uh, Adriana is the owner of Decan Shop. I think this is her favorite Montel scent. It's called Dark Oud, and it is just that. There are two notes in this one, sandalwood and oud. If you're an oud lover, this is going to be right up your alley. It's just sort of unadulterated balls to the walls oud. I don't get sandalwood in here. To me, sandalwood is a very sweet, sort of ambery smelling wood, and all I get here is like pharmaceutical strength oud. Uh, is that a good or a bad thing? That's going to depend on how much you like your oud scents, guys. Me... I kind of like lighter oud scents. Uh, the ones that just don't mash you in your face with funk. You know, as of right now, I think my favorite oud scent is Oud Wood by Tom Ford. Uh, I like Royal Oud by Creed, which I don't even know if there's oud in that. I like Aqua de Parma's oud scent. Uh, with that said, this is not a bad scent at all. I could definitely see this growing on me. You know, the first time that I smelled oud, I didn't like it. But I'm definitely starting to come around to oud a little bit more. I need to keep sampling. Definitely this one I need to keep coming back to because I do like it. I do like it. I'm just not sure if I want to own it yet. So from this batch, Don's Tay Brass, I'm going to keep sampling, but I, I don't have high hopes for it. Uh, Boise the Incense, I know I'm going to pass on. I'm probably going to buy Leather Oud, and I'm going to keep coming back to uh, Dark Oud. So that is this week's uh, episode of Sample Shopping. Stay tuned. We have two more of these over the next two weeks. A lot more fun scents to look out. Slumber House, Creed, uh, more Amawash, more Montau, uh, more of the Oreo. A lot of good stuff is coming up, guys. Keep checking it out. Keep checking out these Sample Shopping episodes. And stay tuned for uh, a review this weekend of a Serge Luton scent. Uh, decantshop.com is where you can get these for just a silly price. I am Maximilian. <laughs> we hanging upside down on this one.
here. Just like that. Vamp, the first to die before I wait. What? Till I die, I'm wide awake. Presidential tiger face. Heavy metal inside the waist. Made back with the quiet grace. Rose getting high braces. Take you up to a higher place.